I'm not here for all the moms that we wake up. We wake up scared and terrified that one day we might experience that pain because our sons leave, or even our daughters, they get to leave and they don't come home because they're murdered because they wake up black. So that's where I'm coming. For him. A man was killed, but a lot of people don't really know that this has been happening. This isn't, George Floyd isn't the first person, probably won't be the last person, but I wanted to come out and basically fight for my life, which sounds crazy in 2020 that I have to fight for my life and scream that Black Lives Matter in 2020 and scream to people and let them know, hey, my life matters. We're a mixed race couple and I've learned a lot over the last two weeks about how little I know. We've been together for 10 years and I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed at how little I know. It's, you know, it's always been an issue, but it's amazing that, um, that this is actually starting to make a uh, make a change and, and make a whole lot of little changes across the US. I'm hoping that people ask questions, they listen, and they learn more and get perspectives from black people and then be the best allies they can be. It's just so nice to see everyone from DC to Portland coming out. And we want him to, to see that standing up is the best, the right thing to do. I came to March today because I don't want kids my age or at any age to have to worry about just being scared in general and not being to just walk places and not having to worry all the time. Because we want everybody to treat, be treated the same. Because um, people of color aren't treated as well as people that are like white skinned. You know, I want to walk my kids. I want to take them to the park. I can't even do that. First y'all hit us with this virus. Then there was the killer bees. What happened to the killer bees? What happened to them? And then now it's like this. All right. God bless. Rest in peace. How do we fix this? It's not beef. It's no beef. But how do we fix it? This is not a war zone. We need a police and a police commissioner who will reach out and have a moderate, thoughtful discourse. We need real leadership. We're out here to really push for the wave to crest. It's been, it's been building for a long time and it's time for it to crest. There's a lot of money that's put into Portland, um, the Portland Police Bureau, but at the same time, our educational system isn't getting the money that it needs. I just think the city needs to be putting the money that they would be thinking about putting into the police bureau, back into the community. We are with Snack Walk. Uh, we are here today providing assistance for the protests. Uh, we do anything from you know your right pamphlets, we hand out snacks, we have out medical supplies. We pretty much do everything that you need to do to organize a good protest and tell people what it's about, why you're here, and how we can defund the police and defund the military. I am a little bit nervous about the COVID stuff, so I haven't been out on like protesting. Um, and so this is the first demonstration or rally that I've been to, and so I thought it was important. And then I, I am a big believer in like resilience and um, and and rest, and so I, it really resonated with me to be able to provide to to hold space for folks to be able to feel like you know, that it's okay for them to go home and rest. I think it's really hard for us, you know, um, especially other people of color that I know, like seeing everything that's happening to our black friends and family. Um, and so I just want, I just want to be out here, show my support. And I don't think that it's okay anymore for us to always be asking people of color to come up with solutions that we also need to participate actively in. People that act like a revolution is built strictly off the backs of rioting don't understand history. It's Malcolm and Martin. It's not just Malcolm. It always has been. So I need people to understand that there are multiple pillars underneath the house of this uh, uprising. And to have respect for everybody that's trying to do things the right way. We think we're trying to do it the right way. So we, have, we never say anything bad about anybody that goes to the Justice Center ever. I encourage people to just be safe. If that's how you feel you what you need to stand your ground, please all by all means. But we're all we're all we're all going for the same thing.